hope things are going well in your neck of the woods. Good morning, Donna from Connecticut and Marcy T from Renton, Washington. Hi, Sherry from Wisconsin and Jill. Hello, Sue from Northern Illinois and Rosemary from Mojave, Arizona. Good morning, or Fort Mojave, there we go. Hi, Chris from Northern California, Tina from East Texas. Hello, Alice Harder. And let's see, who else? <laughs> I, this is cute. Rosemary says, has anyone finished Cup of Cheer? I'm working on my borders and I'm absolutely loving this quilt. Yay! Thanks for that shout out, Rosemary. I'm glad to hear you're working on it and having a whole lot of fun. Hi, Peggy from Arcade, New York, and Gail and Valerie from Rochester, New York, Michelle from Colorado, Deb from Delaware, Dana from Denton, Texas, and the list goes on. Oh, it's a good, good Wednesday morning, isn't it? I, I sure hope it is for you too. Uh, things are busy as ever. You know, this is the time when all of our fun projects for, you know, fall and winter and Christmas really start ramping up, right? Um, with fall just around the corner, kind of crazy, I know. Um, we are in the mood to so, 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 at least that is for me. I hope it is for you too. And um, I'm happy to be here with you today and share with you what's new at Kimberbell. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to actually jump right in to, wait for it. I should have, I should have been pre more prepared here. Here we go. We are going to jump in. Now I can't find it. Oh, here we go. Show and tell with Kimberbell. <laughs> You guys have been busy the last week or two, and um, it's just fun. We're going to like jump around to a bunch of different projects that you guys have been making because they were just all so fun to look at. I just had to grab a whole bunch of them to share with you today. First of all, we've got Home is Where the Haunt is pillow, and Sherry is, uh, boy, she made that, and it is looking good. But Sherry, one thing that I especially loved about this one is the purple that you put into there. There's a lot more purple in that one than the original, and I absolutely love it, especially that purple behind the mummy. So, so cute. Home is Where the Haunt is is a download found at Kimberly bell.com here's another halloween one from beth she says welcome my pretties to cooler weather halloween will be here soon these october bench buddies were fun to stitch up happy stitching beth it couldn't be cuter i love that welcome my pretties these of course come from the bench buddies series the bench buddies are just the smaller little pillows eight by eight and five and a half by nine and a half something like that and they're so cute sitting up on a shelf or you're as a buddy to your bench pillow. Very, very fun. Thanks for sharing that. All right. We've got some weekend projects here and she took three of these uh, designs and put them together to make a little trio of pillows. I absolutely love it. And let me see. Let's see. Do I know who did that? I know it says it up on your screen. I just can't see it anymore. Oh, here we go. Christina. Thank you for sharing that, Christina. And then you guys have been busy with the, the digital dealer exclusive for this month. This is the October 31st pillow. Oh my goodness. It's a cute one, isn't it? Patricia said, so fun to make. Thank you, Kimberbell. Patricia, I love how you brought out the orange in there. Our original one was more like creams and blacks and grays, and you put a pop of color in there with the orange, and it just looks so stinking cute. Let's look at a few others that people are making. Here we go. This pillow was fun to make. I can see myself creating this design again, for sure. Isn't that the, the great part of doing these is that you can make them over and over and over again. Of course, that came from... Bonita. Thank you, Bonita, for sharing. Talk about a pop of color. What about this purple one? This one looks like it came from Patricia. And um, love, love, love 
the purple in there again. I must, I must have something for purple, I guess. Um, absolutely love how this turned out. And just by changing of the fabrics, it gives it a whole nother unique look, doesn't it? Okay, let's take a look at this one. Let's see. This one came from Cat. Cat, she says, now I want to make more. Yes, I agree with you, Cat. You can't just make one. You got to think about all the friends and family that need one of these in their lives, right? And she says, um, she forgot to mention she did use glow in the dark thread. I know a lot of you out there are using the glow in the dark thread. It just is so cute with it. Let's take a closer look at what uh, the glow in the dark thread looks like on this one from Jamie. She says, digital dealer exclusive class today sewn with glow in the dark thread. So fun. Thank you, Kimberbell. Love the monthly projects. So if you're wanting to get in on the October 31st pillow, it's not too late. Find a shop that is doing digital dealer exclusives. And even if they've already held their class or their club or their online event or whatever they did with digital dealer exclusives this month, you can still get it. You can still ask a shop who's participating in digital dealer exclusives to um, get that design uh, set up for you. So, and then you'll find it in your Kimberbell library. It's pretty awesome. Let's take a look at a couple of other um, digital dealer exclusives that you guys have been posting because I want to again reiterate the fact that it's not too late to get any of the past digital dealer exclusives from this year. And because it's digital, doesn't matter if you live near a shop or have a local shop, you can find a shop online doing this. All right, um, let's see, Colleen says, I finally used this file for May. So what she's referring to is this was a digital dealer exclusive for May and she now just did it and it looks awesome. She found some kitchen towels, cut one up for a border in the back of the pot holder. She loves the pattern. She learned chenille in that one and all of that, that little hot pad there, it's all quilted in the hoop. Um, it's all part of the same file and uh, it turned out darling, both in the hot pad and, and as well as uh, the tea towel. Great job. And then another one that used a past digital dealer exclusive, again, not too late to get, is Linda. She says she finally made these pretty cute and will make nice gifts for my friends with pets. So I believe this was in the July, which was just last month. Um, and you actually got the fish design and the bone <laughs> design. And we thought about all the, the sweet little pets in our lives um, with these little zipper pouches. Um, they'd be great for little doo-doo bags or they could be great for treats. Or hey, even the kids would love to have some treats in there too, right? With a little cat and a dog bone or a fish and a dog bone. Anyway, so there is that. Now, again, don't forget, you can find a shop doing digital dealer exclusives that can still sell you these exclusive designs. Pretty awesome. All right. This one just like took my breath away because of the yellow. Let's take a look. Ah, oh, is that gorgeous or what? Let me find out who did that one. That was Nancy. Nancy, it's beautiful. I absolutely adore the colors you used in this. The pretty pastels, the soft buttercream yellow. It just is so pretty. This of course is spring showers and it's not too late to get that either. You can find a quilt shop that is selling spring showers. And I love, oh, look at the mushrooms. Do you see the mushrooms? They're pink and gray. Oh my gosh, so sweet. Love everything about it. Okay, we've got some people finishing up. Cup of cheer, cup of cheer. We're going to talk about that here in a minute. But Evelyn, she says it's a wrap. Sure is. Evelyn, I think you were one of the first to get this done. And it just turned out perfect. 
I absolutely love it. I love seeing that people are getting these done. And hello, we're still in summer. So you guys are on a roll, anyone who's getting it done. But you know what? If you're like me, you're just doing it in little parts and pieces <laughs> and have yet to finish it. And that's okay, right? Let's take a look at someone else who um, is who just got done with Cup of Cheer. This comes from Sherry. She says, woo, this was a project. <laughs> yes, it is, but worth it, right, Sherry? Worth it. I'll be gifting it to my daughter as she now hosts all of our family holiday celebrations. Oh my goodness, Sherry, I love it. And your daughter is just gonna be amazed. Does she know about it yet? Or is it a surprise? I'd love to hear. Um, very, very fun. Okay, let's talk clear blue tiles. I told you we're gonna be jumping around today for So and Tell with Kimber Bell because I love this little owl. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. But what I love more, even more, is that Lori said she had the kit for about a year, but she finally got it finished and quilted with CVT. And of course, when she says CVT, she's referring to clear blue tiles. And that is how you do your background quilting in the hoop on your embroidery machine with clear blue tiles it's an awesome system someone's gonna get a win that today and a whole well we'll we'll get there there's a lot of prizes to be won today in today's giveaway so stay tuned till the very end because you're not gonna believe it but one of them is clear blue tiles and it makes me so happy that you are getting these projects to the finish line by getting them quilted and done and um it just, that is just cute. Just cute. All right. Here's another one that used clear blue tiles. Not only did, let's see, Lainey um, use clear blue tiles, but she also used the pattern that comes as a bonus pattern um, with the clear blue tiles essential set. She says, thank you, Kimberbell and CBT. My niece loves flamingos. This was such a fun project. Okay, let's take a closer look at how cute this project is. This, again, like I said, is a bonus project that comes with the Clear Blue Tiles Essential Set. It is done, she did this one in the flamingos and the fun colors and the, the palm trees. Oh my gosh, it's fun, bright, love it. But what we mention about uh, and we show is that really you take the same design, the same pattern for the pieced houses, which, by the way, they're pieced in the hoop. Those trees are also pieced in the hoop. And you can switch it up for any season to give it the look of Halloween or Christmas or winter or spring or summer or flamingos in this case. Um, I love seeing your guys' takes on um, clear blue tiles and that pattern in particular. So thank you, thank you, Lainey, for sharing that with us. And finally, one more for this week. This was a favorite from a lot of you. Looks like Debbie. She says, a combo of We Wish You a Merry Christmas and Ginger's Kitchen. Okay, so two different Kimberbell products, We Wish You a Merry Christmas and Ginger's Kitchen. But she did it in pink and gray. No words. Gorgeous comes to mind, right? Wow. She says uh, she did it for her niece's birthday. She didn't want a holiday pillow. So again, those were designs from Christmas items. So we did them in reds, greens, and such. But she wanted something that she could use every day for her niece's new home. Um, she says, I use the hobby quilt block pattern for the flange and had no problems picking out extra border stitches. Oh, my goodness, that is just so pretty, isn't it? And there you have it, my friends. She just changed what would normally be thought of as a Christmas pattern and made it into an everyday pattern. And your niece is going to lose her mind. She is going to love that. And it will mean so much that you made it for her. So thank you. Thank you, Debbie, for sharing that. Just awesome. I know a lot of you guys saw that on the Kimber Bellas and Fellas Facebook page and loved it too. So um, just a reminder, if you're not on Kimber Bellas and Fellas Facebook page, 
you got to join. You got to join. It is a private group, but oh my goodness, we'll let you in. Um, if you are a Kimberbell fan and love making Kimberbell projects and want to share tips and ideas and, and help people and share your projects, we are all there for each other. Please join the Kimberbellas and Fellas Facebook group um, today. That would be pretty awesome. Okay. And you can see more. Those are just a handful of things that I just quickly picked and you know, every day I'm amazed at what pictures show up on that page. Very cool. All right. So today, what are we talking about? Well, let me just show you real quick. Just a reminder that this is now available. Merry Christmas, y'all. And to y'all, a good night. Oh, my goodness. He just can't get any cuter. And next week, I'm going to do two days of a sew along. On Wednesday, I'm planning on doing how to piece. Let me show you what I'm doing. Uh, Wednesday, I'm going to show you how to piece these blocks. They're half square triangles and then how to quilt on top of them. Okay, so that's the pieced blocks They're right there. And then Friday, we're going to do santa himself right there um next week so tune in for that that is here on the main facebook page or on our youtube channel either way you can find it and look at the background quilting remember that's available as a separate download at kimberbell.com if you wish to do your background quilting on your embroidery machine and i'm i'm telling you what what Merry Christmas, y'all, and to y'all a good night. Pretty stinking cute. And that bundle of background quilting designs is available at a discounted price till the end of this month. So now is the time to get it. Let's, let me show you real quick what that looks like. Here we go. Look, you got cowboy hats and cowboy boots and cactus and the Merry Christmas y'all inner border and the outer border with the cactus and the presents and you name it. It's on sale till August 31st for that quilting bundle. That's what we used in there. We'd love to have you be a part of it. All right. So check that out. Speaking of background quilting designs, last week uh, we have a couple of new ones up just in time for the school season. So last week we shared this one that has the, the letters of the alphabet. I thought that was super cute. And this week, starting today, we've got some apple cores, apples, apple cores, apple slices, you name it. Um, that would be really cute for not only school, but just any like harvesty, fall, apple cider, apple picking types of projects, right? The, those kinds of themes. Those are both available now at Kimberbell.com. As always, if your shop, your favorite quilt shop out there has an affiliate link, please click through their affiliate link and give them a little credit and um, they, they would sure appreciate it. And we love that too. So check that out at Kimberbell.com. Okay. All right. Let's see. What else do we have today? Let's talk a scallop tray. How many of you guys have seen the scalloped tray from Kimberbell? Have you seen it? Have you seen it? What do you do with it, right? This is a, a, a galvanized scallop tray that can be used, it even has Kimberbell in there, that can be used in your sewing room, in your holiday decorating, um, as a catch-all for keys or whatever it may be. It's pretty darn cute. This is available through cool shops, but especially those shops who are hosting um home sweet haunted home hold on something dropped there we go back <laughs> home sweet haunted home how many of you guys have signed up for home sweet haunted home oh my goodness you guys this is like the funnest halloween event ever and some of the projects you're going to make are these quilted pumpkins wow and look remember the house that you're going to make home sweet haunted home look how the, cute that would be tucked in there Okay, um, and then of course you've got, it lights up. These are projects that are exclusive to home, sweet, haunted, home. Let me 
turn this on here. Got our little lights. Okay. There in the window, you got the little cat button just hanging out there. All done on your embroidery machine. Crazy, right? Crazy cool. So look at that. Wouldn't that be the fun, most fun display um, in your home for Halloween? So cute. So these trays are being sold through shops that are doing Home Sweet Haunted Home. And they are limited edition. So once they're out, they're out. Um, I'm not certain we'll be bringing more in. These are a limited time theme. Um, so my guess is that they're going to be out this year. They came out last year. We have a, we have some to sell this year, but they are so much fun because think of the possibilities of what you can do with these. If you're thinking about um, all the ideas, here's a few more for you. Take a look at what it looks like, the scallops metal tray in your sewing room. <laughs> ah, I love it. And this is how I use mine. I use mine. Um, mine doesn't look that organized and cute, but <laughs> it certainly could, I guess. And that's done. Um, we, we put our paper tape in there. We put our rotary blade and scissors and you could put some thread. You could put your readers in there. Such a fun way to decorate your sewing room and also keep things nice and tidy, right? But wait, what else could you do with the tray? Look at what we did here. Notice what we did? That tray is sitting on the side of a, a couch in a living room. But all the mug rugs are placed in there. Now that's a fun way to hold your mug rugs, right? That's a great way to house them. And there you go. What you thought was just for pumpkins can be used for so much more. How about how, or Christmas decorating? Let's take a look at what a little bench buddy looks like in the tray. Ah! This is the little bench buddy for December. Joy to the world. Oh, isn't that cute? And we just set that right in the tray and put some greenery around it, some ornaments in a jar behind it. Oh my goodness. So cute. So you could take that tray and just use it for anything that you can imagine. Okay, what about a catch-all, right? Here we go. Here's a better picture. You come home from work, come home from school, come home from shopping, whatever. And you need a place to put those keys, glasses, change, you name it. There you have it. But it's all put together in a cute little scallop tray from Kimberbell. Awesome. Here's one more picture of Christmas. Do you remember these guys? These are the little mini Christmas ornaments. Look at Santa's beard. That's done with fringe. And we, instead of hanging it on a tree, we actually added it to the scallop tray with some Christmas balls and some greenery. Just too, too cute. Absolutely love it. So there you have it. I wanted to share with you all the things that you could do. Oh, hold on just a minute. All the things that you could do with the scallop trays. What would you use the scallop tray for? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear. There you go. Oh, here we go. Michelle says, I use my tray to swap out my bench buddies throughout the year. I love that, Michelle. So you're using the same tray, same base, but you're just swatching, switching it in and out. Love it. Okay, <laughs> Chantel says all the things. <laughs> I mean, you name it, right? All the things. <laughs> Janet asks, can we still get the Santa design? You betcha, Janet. It is part of, let me think about it, Happy Hoop Decor. Check it out. Find your favorite quilt shop out there and ask them if they have Happy Hoop Decor. Um, there's two volumes of it. So each of them have the little mini ornaments for your tree. And uh, that Santa is part of the whimsical set. There's also a nativity uh, volume. Volume one, I think, is the whimsical set. Volume two is a nativity set. And yes, they are still available for sure. All right, here we go. Joyce says, I would use it to hold my cutter, scissors, markers, laying on my cutting table. Yes, for sure. It, it's just a nice way to kind of hone in all that stuff, that extra stuff, but make it look cute, right? All right. 
Oh, Julie says that she does. She has one, it sounds like. And she uses hers to store her Kimberbell tape dispenser and filled bobbins. I love that. All right. So thank you for sharing that. Find a cool shop that is doing home sweet haunted home and uh, check that out. It's pretty fun. Next week, I'll talk about the bonus projects that come with home sweet haunted home. Pretty fun stuff or, um, is ahead for you. All right. Finally, today, one last thing I want to leave you with because there's going to be a big giveaway at the end. Okay. I'm so excited. <laughs> Andrew is so excited. If you know Andrew, he's our um, videographer at Kimberbell. And he and I and a, a whole team of others in, in the background too, it, it takes a village, my friends, have put together a group of Cup of Cheer video tutorials for you. Um, they are now all available at our YouTube page. Can we like do like a hip hip hooray do a dance whatever it takes to show your excitement because i am so excited these were kind of a labor of love but oh my gosh i'm so happy they're done and they are they're awesome andrew like really did his magic in getting like really close up uh, video of what exactly was going on in these tutorials. Okay. Yeah. Everyone's like, yeah, hip, hip, hooray. That's wonderful. Yay. 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 Yes. Yay. And we did that because we love you. We love you. And we want you to feel successful. All right. And we want you to go, you know what, if I want to know how to do this technique, I could go to the cup of chair videos and learn it but I can also apply that technique to other Kimberbell projects, right? So in the comments, I'm actually going to post a link here that I want you guys to click on when you get a chance. <laughs> you don't have to click on it right now, but when you get a chance, this is what I want you to click on um, or just go to the YouTube page at Kimberbell and there you're going to find the list. You know, Andrew, if you're on, correct me if I'm wrong. I think they are, every single one is on there now. There's like, I don't know, 10, 11, 12 of them, something like that. Okay. Um, but they're, they're short, they're concise. They're about five-ish minutes long and they're very specific to the technique and the block that we're working on. Okay. So please use them and, and enjoy them and let them work for you. Um, even if you finished those blocks, you may be interested in maybe some of the tips that I shared in those blocks um, so that you can use the techniques, you know, for other things. Um, Cindy, she says, I used the tutorial last night. Yay! What I would suggest is that you start with the introduction to the series of tutorials, because in that introduction, I actually show you or I kind of, I walk through the book itself. I don't want anyone to be overwhelmed. So I walk through the book itself, how it's laid out. Um, and then I tell you, you know, what the videos are going to be. Um, so watch the introduction first. And then from there, just pick and choose which ones apply to you at what time. All right. So there you have it. Now, for today's giveaway, I'm actually going to show you one of those videos that's on there that is not necessarily about cup of cheer, but it's more as I was putting these things together, I thought, you know, when it really comes down to to doing Kimberbell projects, there's about seven, seven tips that I would give you for starting any Kimberbell project or doing any Kimberbell project. So as part of that tutorial series with Cup of Cherry, I said, you know what, Andrew, let's go ahead and film my top seven tips for doing any Kimberbell project. So you might be sitting here today going, you know what, I, don't, I, I didn't do Cup of Cheer, so these tutorials won't apply to me. No, they will because the techniques are used in other Kimberbell projects. But re in reality, when it all comes down to it, there's seven tips that I thought I would share with you on starting any Kimberbell project. I'm going to show you what those seven tips, I'm going to show you the video today, right now. And the good news, the fun news about that is after the video, you're going to learn how you're going to win 
many of the themes that are talked about in that video. It's a big giveaway. So let's watch it for the next few minutes and then um, we'll talk about the giveaway. All right. Okay, let me find it. I'm just going to, this is a video that is on YouTube, our YouTube channel. Okay. Um, but I'm just going to play it uh, directly through, through here through this platform. Um, but if you want to go back and watch it, or if you've got friends that are Kimberbell, you know, folks that would, um, you know, would appreciate learning more about how to start any Kimberbell project, please share this with them. That would be awesome. Um, maybe you have friends that just love machine embroidery and haven't quite dipped their toes in the water of Kimberbell yet, right? Share this with them and, um, Show them that Kimberbell is doing everything we can to help you be the most successful and have great finished projects. Okay, so this is my top seven tips for starting any Kimberbell project. Let's take a look. Hi, my name is Kim, and I'm here to share with you my top seven tips as you embark on any Kimberbell project. Although I'll be using samples from Kimberbell's Cup of Cherry quilt, the same tips can be used on just about any embroidery project you begin. Tip number one, don't be overwhelmed. You can do this. Cut your fabrics according to our diagrams and place into resealable bags or pockets. Now, label each block or section of the quilt, and then when you have some time, even the smallest amount of time, simply grab a bag and embroider your block. Remember, it's not a race to see how fast you can get a project done. It's all about enjoying the process. So take your time, one block at a time, and experience the joy that comes from creativity. Tip number two, to reduce puckering, fuse Kimberbell's fusible backing to the wrong side of your background blocks. This will be left in the block and is done in addition to using any of our recommended stabilizers. If you are applicating a light colored block on top of a dark colored fabric, consider fusing our fusible backing behind those applique pieces as well. Tip number three, the right scissors can make all the difference with your applique projects. Watch how I'm holding our duckbill scissors with the duckbill going towards the center of the applique. By pulling the fabric taut with one hand and cutting with the other, you're going to get a nice clean cut close to the design, but without snipping through those tack down threads. When cutting into smaller areas, we suggest using Kimberbell's flexi snips or micro tip scissors. Tip number four, consider the idea of doing your background quilting in the hoop. It's fun and it's so easy to do with Kimberbell's system of either block by block quilting or with clear blue tiles. When doing a quilt with a lot of applique, such as Cup of Cheer, it is recommended that you use our block by block quilting method. This makes it so that the quilting is behind your applique and the digitizing makes it so that there's no batting in your seams. You can find Kimberbell's background quilting designs at Kimberbell.com. For a tutorial on how to do background quilting, please see our video titled, How to do background quilting on your embroidery machine. You can also learn how to combine your background quilting with your design block in the video titled, How to combine background quilting and design files on your embroidery machine. Since background quilting is optional, Kimberbell offers a wide variety of background quilting designs that can be found as downloads from Kimberbell.com. Tip number five, have a set of different embroidery needles ready to go. Now for nearly any embroidery project, we usually recommend an 80-12 embroidery needle. If you're doing lace or small lettering, then I would go with something more like a 75-11 needle. If you need to embroider through thicker areas, try a 90-14. If you're embroidering through something like a sticky back stabilizer, consider using an anti-glue needle or another type of non-stick needle. Number six, you'll notice that any blocks that have applique will also be a bit oversized. They are appliqued onto a large block first and then cut down to the size you need after embroidery. The oversized blocks will be easier to work with and account for any pulling that occurs during the process of embroidery. 
We like the ease of use of using orange pop rulers to cut the blocks to the exact size needed for the quilt project. You can find out how we use orange pop rulers in another Kimberbell video tutorial. And finally, number seven, use the right stabilizer for the job. Kimberbell's line of premium stabilizers are color coded and make it easy to find the right type and weight for your project. You can find our recommendations listed on each set of directions. For example, this hot chocolate mug block states that you will need our light mesh cutaway stabilizer, our fusible backing, and our wash away stabilizer. Each have been thoroughly tested to give you the very best results. You can find an entire library of the how, when, why, and where to use stabilizer at Kimberbell.com. Go ahead and enjoy making those Kimberbell projects. Go ahead and enjoy making those Kimberbell projects. Oh, you guys are awesome. There's so many of you that have like literally probably done every single one of them. Thank you. And if you're new, welcome. Welcome to the fun. <laughs> welcome to the crazy fun, as I like to say. Oh, it's all about enjoying the process, right? And my first tip, don't be overwhelmed, right? Enjoy the process. Take it a day at a time. If you're, you know, thinking, I just, I, it's too overwhelming, take it one block at a time. You'll be there and you'll get it done in no time at all. And you can step back and look at what you made and be so stinking proud of yourself. So check out all those videos. Again, I'm going to post here in the comments the YouTube link that takes you to all the cup of cheer tutorials. It's all there in one section. Click on what you need, when you need it um, for cup of cheer or even beyond. So hope you enjoy those. Hey, while you're there, you know what I'm gonna say. We would love for you to subscribe to our channel there at Kimberbell on YouTube <laughs> because um, that way you'll never miss one of our um, new product launches, our tutorials. It's easy to find over there, much easier than finding it on trying to find it on Facebook. Um, like and subscribe to our channel over at YouTube. Thank you so much. You'll be glad you did. Okay. All right. So here's the giveaway. Are you ready? A bunch of you are going to win. Okay. I talked about uh, several Kimberbell products in there that just make your machine embroidery life a little bit easier, right? We talked about, or I talked about orange pop rulers, um, the Kimberbell scissor set, uh, the variety of stabilizers we, stabilizers we offer, as well as background quilting designs and clear glue tiles. I talked about all of that, right? Are you ready? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six people are going to win one of these items, okay? So we're going to give out a square set of orange pop rulers. We're going to give away a rectangle set of orange pop rulers. We're going to give away a clear blue tiles essentials set. We're going to give away a, a boxed set of scissors, Kimberbell scissors and tools. We're going to give away a bundle of stabilizers. So you're going to get just a wide variety of Kimberbell stabilizers. And we're going to give away a $50 gift card to download background quilting designs at Kimberbell.com. Six people are going to win one of those things. Okay. So how do you enter? I would love for you to tell me. First, have you ever have you ever used any of those? products. Okay. Give us a testimonial of how that has helped you in your embroidery. So for example, you would say, I loved, I love orange pop rulers because it helps making squaring up easy or whatever it may be. Okay. Maybe you haven't used orange pop rulers, but you want to try them. I want to know that too. So tell me in the comments, a testimonial that you can share with everyone that says, I love clear blue tiles because of this okay um but you can also oh i'm gonna sneeze hold up hold on guys I, I you know when you feel it coming maybe maybe not okay i think we're good 
<laughs> Hold the phone. <laughs> Kim's got a sneeze. All right, we're good. Okay, so if you loved Orange Pop Rulers, you love Clear Blue Tiles, you love the scissor and tool set, you love Kimberbell Stabilizers, or you love Kimberbell Background Quilting, we would love to hear your testimonial, okay, on why you love it. But then you can also enter two ways to enter. So you got twice as many entries and you can enter here and on YouTube. So now you have four. When I say here, I mean Facebook or YouTube. Now you have four ways. So one, tell us what you love about one of the products that you've already used. And two, tell us one of them that you'd like to try and why. OK, tell us, you know, what? I'd, I'd love to try background quilting. With clear blue tiles or whatever it may be okay again someone is going to win a, a square set of orange pop rulers another person's going to win the rectangle set another person's going to win the essential set of clear blue tiles another person's going to win the scissor and tool set then another person is going to win a variety of Kimberbell stabilizers and finally the sixth person is going to win a 50 dollars gift card to download background quilting designs at kimberbell.com there you go. So there you have it. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited to see what you're saying. Let's see. I have orange pop rulers, but just getting used to using them. Oh, Roseanne, once you get used to it, you're going to love it. Makes it really, really easy. All right. Uh, let's see. Your things are coming in fast. Lisa said the background quilting is the most wonderful way to finish a block. So easy. I would love to win the scissor set. Ooh, Lisa. Ooh, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. Tina says, I've used the orange pop rulers. Game changer. Clear blue tiles, though not as much as I plan to. Ooh, we got to get you going on those CBTs, Tina. But my all-time favorite Kimberell product is the scissor set. Wow, I love those. The best, the sharpest scissors of all time. I love them. I'd love to try all the Kimberbell stabilizers. I would also love to get more background quilting files. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing that comment. So nice to say and nice to hear. And I know a lot of people at Kimberbell will love hearing that too. That'll just make their day, okay? Oh my goodness. Okay. So there you have it. You guys, you have from now until tomorrow night, Thursday night at midnight, because Friday morning, as we always do, we will announce the winners, the six winners on our Facebook page. Hey, don't forget, click on the link to look at the cup of cheer video tutorials. I'm going to post it once again here in the chat. <clears throat> Find the Cup of Chair tutor tutorials <coughs> and just go for it. Have a whole lot of fun with those, all right? Okay. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for your support of all things Kimberbell. As always, we don't take it for granted. We're very grateful for your business, and we're grateful for the, the business that you bring to, to quilt shops as well. Thank you so much for all of it, and uh, keep sharing those pictures. Don't forget, you want to join the Kimber Bellas and Fellas Facebook page because that's where I see all the stuff that you're working on, which is really cool. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.